Today I'm going to show you how to terminate a piece of WF100 uh, Webro aerial cable onto a F connector. I'm going to do this in two ways. One with a F screw uh, type connector and one with a cable com uh, crimp connector. Preferred method by Tectonic is to use crimp connectors at all times. We don't generally use screw on connectors. That is a F screw if you've seen one of these before yeah okay so quite a simple product and this is a cable con product now if you're one of our customers you will see that we use these all the time the only time that we would use an F connector that is not a crimp style would be if it's an unbranded cable or it's a cable that's not suitable for this style of connector um, obviously with any IRS or systems um, as we all know that they need to be a crimped solid connector or a compression style connector as the F screw on style connectors do not comply and shouldn't be used. So if you've got those on your installation I suggest you contact the installer and ask him to change them. Um, they can be used in uh, domestic installations but it's not recommended. Okay so tools that you require to put one of these connectors on Quite simple, either a cable uh, stripping tool, so a uh, crimp tool that you need to use is going to be this style here, cable con, because the tool needs to match the connector. Several connectors that you can use, that's a F style connector, that's a standard IEC connector, again same termination, same crimp, uh, and that's a male, and this is a uh, female style connector, so they're generally what you would use in a TV installation would all be the same so um, all quite simple to do stripping is the same for each of them and you just need to pay a bit of attention to how you do it with the IECs compared to the F which is the easiest one so we'll start with that All right, here we are then second connector is going to be the uh, WF100 onto a standard screw on F connector so this you treat slightly differently. Now I wouldn't use uh, a stripping tool for this so I find it's not a particularly good way of doing it. I would tend to use a pair of shears. Seem a bit overkill for what we're doing and I know other people sit there nipping around and everything else and taking quite a bit of time in doing it. I find with experience that you'll find that the easiest way of doing this is to take a pair of shears, gently put it, rest it against the outer sheath of the cable, just marking it. Don't want to do it too hard, you don't need anything sharp. Just mark that round, okay, and you'll find that this just pops off quite simply. Okay, that's now showing us we've got the copper on copper again with a WF, and you can see that simply pulling the outer sheath in back, take the braid off there, and then we've got the copper foil wrap, which we'll generally just undo and just tear off. So that's off, leaving the dielectric again showing you what we've got there. So about four mil up on the dielectric. I'd come up about that far. Okay, again, just nip that up. Rotate that gently. Don't cut into the copper, no need to. Spin that, and it'll just tear off, yeah? Now, you'll be hard pushed to get a better connection than that. So now with this, I generally just wrap that round so it looks like that. Okay. Just so you've got a bit of it on the dielectric and a few threads just touching on the ends of the threads onto the black outer sheath. Okay, you take your connector, making sure that it's the right size. Yeah, you see the size of that hole there is suitable for this WF100. Don't try using a WF65 connector, yeah, because they're a lot skinnier. Yeah, WF65 is what Sky use quite a bit of, and these are the style connectors that they use. They're poor quality and I'd advise you not to use them. Um, the inner, di inner core is only 0.65 of a mil and you'll find that all your socketry that you have in blocks of flats and things like that won't actually uh, take the, six, the 0.65 centre core and we get a lot of intermittent faults with that. So be really careful, you really need to stick to this size cable. So we put that in, just marry it up and just as it touches onto the outer sheath, you can see there that you've got a few bits of copper showing and we're just going to wind that on. And as we wind it on, 
you see it's slowly creeping up inside similar to the cable con connector if you've seen that uh, for the crimp style and as we wind that in you're just losing that bit of copper edge on there okay so again it shows that it's flat to the inner side of that uh, threaded part of the connector the nut that goes on the top there's a flat edge and the dielectric should just come up to that and again in the same way we've got the copper overhanging on the center core and what I'm going to do is take the shears again yeah giving it about three or four mil sticking out the end of the connector cutting it at a 45 degree angle again okay and there's your connector it's uh, a good quality uh, F screw on connector this um, not ideal, still prefer to use the cable con one that I showed you previously on the crimp connector. Yeah, but do a similar job. But you'll find this will give you, the cable con will give you a far better connector. Uh, double the price than what one of these uh, screw, uh, screw style uh, F connectors are. But um, still, still can be used, especially in the domestic industry, it's very common. Um, again, take your device that you're going to plug into your accessory and just wind that on in the same way. Okay, got that in there. Once it's on, just nip that up. You may want to use a pair of uh, pliers to just to just to give it a tweak. But to be honest with you, if you can get that super hand tight, you shouldn't be able to undo it easily. Yeah. So if it twists off, yeah, you can just grab a pair of pliers or grab your shears. You got a little nut there. You can just nip that up. Job done. And you shouldn't be able to undo that with your finger. So that's quite firm now. There we go. Thank you very much for watching.